Operation Mercy is an international relief and development organization headquartered in Sweden. We are a community of professionals who serve the poor and marginalized of Central Asia, Middle East and North Africa through an array of community development and humanitarian aid projects. Our vision is to work in partnership with others to restore hope, grow capacity and promote community through relief and development initiatives that help transform lives, including our own. Our five core competencies Empowering women Improving health Caring for children at risk Equipping the next generation Responding to crisis My name is Molur and I'm the hairdresser of Operation Mercy and uh, I'm teaching here um, haircut, makeup, hairstyling, dyeing hair and everything. The students really like it, yeah. They love to be here and they work. Uh, it makes them uh, powerful, I guess. The students are the Afghans refugee when they are um, learning hairdressing or everything that they learn here, they can support uh, their family with that. Sometimes the students are the one uh, in the family that make money for their family. They can, they can support their family, their children, their relatives, they can make, make money. I think uh, we can give them a better chance and to have a better life. We give them uh, the chance to have a better life. I'm Zahra Mirzai. I'm social worker in Operation Mercy. In supportive services in Operation Mercy, we have needy and uh, poor families. Uh, needy people, uh, they are um, they refer to us, and uh, we provide some basic uh, equipment and uh, some um, essential um, essential tools for uh, them. Basic equipment for the family that uh, recently uh, had migra migrated to Iran and uh, doesn't have uh, some equipment. Uh, this equipment like blankets, heater, fridge, TV set, or other things that uh, it's necessary for starting a, a simple um, life. Uh, I had uh, one client, uh, her name was Asye. She was uh, 34 and she couldn't read and write. Uh, she came to in, uh, literacy classes in Operation Mercy. No, she can uh, read and write. اون موقع که درس خوندیم تموم شد هیچ انگیزه برای زندگی یا امیدی مثلا نبود دیگه فکر کردیم مثلا زندگی جدیدی رو اصلا تجربه نکردیم ولی اینکه اومدیم خیاطی کار کردم خیلی امیدم به زندگی بیشتر شد میتونستم درآمد خودم رو داشته باشم مستقل باشم طرز فکرم خیلی عوض شد امید به زندگی بیشتر داشتم قبلش یه زندگی نرمال بود مثلا هیچ هدفی نداشتم تو زندگی آرزو دارم یه مؤسسه مثل اینجا بزنم بعد خیاطی رو بیشتر مثلا گسترده بدم مثلا چرخ بذارم خودم یه تولیدی داشته باشم بعد اینکه به هم وطن خودم کمک کنم My name is Fejda Qaderi. I'm a psychologist and counselor in Operation Mercy. And uh, I have been working here about two and a half years uh, with Afghan refugee women and girls. 
At first, I, uh, when I come to Operation Mercy, uh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't know anything about the refugee and the Afghan people and I didn't know uh, there are uh, too many and after that uh, I see them and I could um, uh, have a relation with them. When, uh, when uh, all of these uh, women and girls come here, they can't understand that, uh, that the, uh, the, there is an environment, uh, there is a safe environment, and that they can come and uh, um, speak about their problem and get some uh, help uh, uh, from uh, other units of Operation Mercy. Women and girls come to me for uh, individual counseling. I recognize that uh, all of them have uh, um, problems about the negative mind and uh, cognitive errors. I make them a group session and uh, all the weeks uh, I uh, prepare the groups and uh, they come and uh, sometimes in uh, some of these groups I get them some uh, gl global tests uh, for uh, recognizing their problem uh, and uh, how many of these, um, for example, girl or um, women uh, have uh, depression, uh, stress or lack of self-confidence. I'm very happy to be here because uh, when I uh, help to some of my clients to solving their problems or uh, get better um, uh, mental uh, uh, condition, uh, after my counseling, I'm, I'm very happy and I, I'm uh, full of energy. The most important thing for uh, the team members down there is that we all look at this project as a payback to our society because we were the lucky ones who could go to universities or have a good families and now it's time to give away and share what we already had and take it for granted to the others who have never had the chance to have them. I guess I'd like to say um, that, that Operation Mercy uh, is there uh, not to set its own agenda but to come alongside is to come alongside um, young people who have ideas on how to, to help their community. To come alongside and put our arm around them and encourage them uh, to, uh, to invest their lives uh, for helping other people. To be, in a sense, um, to be the, the presence of God to the, to the suffering uh, and the poor in society uh, so that they can be encouraged uh, that they're not alone and that uh, with work and with some of the right opportunities, uh, they, can, they can overcome uh, their poverty. Sometimes people ask me, uh, where are you from? And I say, man, as a medical astam. Oh, you're from America. What are you doing here? How can you work here? And do you have any problems? And you know, I told them that um, the wonderful thing about Iran is the people of Iran are so friendly, so welcoming. And there, uh, so many times people have said to me, uh, we're so glad you're here, we're, we appreciate your being involved, and we just want to be friends. And, and that, that is really how Operation Mercy wants to work here. We're really looking to be friends with the people of Iran.